Hello, welcome to the video for what is flow control, the delay nodes. Let's go ahead and start up our quick little example here. I have a little timer that counts up the whole time so that way you can actually see it's in real time. If I click start the bomb, approximately two seconds later, it'll go ahead and say boom. If I disarm it, it goes back to disarmed. And if I use the reset the bomb option, it works the same as starting, except I can actually continually click reset and it will never actually go off. We'll wait for it to go off, disarm it. Now if I start the bomb and continually click, you'll notice it will still go off. It will not let me reset it. So these are using delay nodes. We'll go ahead and see how they work. The delay node basically stops the chain of events, the execution wires in the delay node itself until the delay has expired. It does not stop execution of the program itself though. It only stops execution of this wire chain itself. So for our example, we have two delay nodes. You have a regular delay node and a retriggerable delay with only one small difference. So what I did here for my example was once we click the button, I set it to armed, I waited two seconds, and then I set the text to boom. When I ran that, no matter how many times I click it, it's still going to count down two seconds and go boom. A regular delay basically will never re-trigger. It will, no matter how many times I run this portion in front of it, the delay will stop execution until it is done. Once it's completed, then it will fire off. The retriggerable delay is identical, except if the execute wire is ran again, it will go ahead and reset it back to the full duration. So you notice when I run the reset, as long as I click the button before the two seconds, it will automatically re-trigger and execute the delay and it will never allow it to finish until the two seconds have gone by and I haven't clicked it. And that's it. That's what a delay node is. It's useful for when you need to put in a fixed delay because that's what it's for and you don't want it to stop execution of other things because again, the execute wires from here will stop right here. Anything after the delay in the completed will not happen until this delay is finished, but the rest of the program still runs, which is why if you notice, I have this counter running. Even though my delay is running, the counter still runs. That's it. That is a delay node. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below.